Hey, Nicholas text. Um, she wants us to meet in the cafe as soon as we're back from town. Major high level briefing or something. Right, well, come on then. And I've told Diane to make sure you disgrace yourself tonight. I'm so sorry about her and Dan hassling you. Don't worry, I'll keep shtum. As long as nothing interferes with your big day. Believe me, that's the last thing on my mind. Really? You've got a miserable life ahead of you, lying through your teeth. I'm not, though. If I could just explain... You just can't be bothered, is that it? Now, don't keep Katie waiting. A reception. Um, we'll stick with what Katie planned. White flowers, white crockery, white everything. Hmm? Yep, fine, darling. Chaz? Yeah, sure. Right then, uh, music, um, are you sharing the first dance or going separately? Well, I thought that we would start off and then you could join us if you want. Fine, whatever. Right, so you all right with the birdie song for the first dance, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, what? See, I knew you weren't listening. <laughs> Seriously, it's fine by me if you're just happy to go along with it. I've got enough to sort out with being homeless. You are? When did this happen? Yesterday. Carl chucked us all out, put the house on the market. Jim is at his wit's end. I'm worried he's going to lamp in one. <sighs> what is going on with him? I didn't think he could sink any lower. The thing that bugs me the most is that he'd do it to his own niece. I mean, I know he's artless, but this... But never mind, Carl. All right, what about the man you're marrying? I'm trying to include you here, but shall I not bother? Shocked, that's all. Yeah, well, focus, please. Come on, what's next? Oh, talk about the wall of shame. <gasps> she'll kill you, but she'll love it. Yeah, well, wait till you see the ones that I've got of you. You will never speak to me again. <laughs> and is Diane all right with you doing that? Of course she is. Most of them are. Anyway, won't she be? Oh, no reason. I'll just check in. <laughs> get yourself a new pair of trainers. I mean, if you plan on doing the runaway bride thing again. All right, pack it in. Why can't you be happy with wrecking my job and my home without sticking the knife in about my wedding and all? All right. I was only joking. You know what? I thought it was Christmas when I heard that the sale sign had gone up. There was no need to blackmail me. If I thought you just wanted to get out of our lives, then I'd have happily paid you off. Why are we doing this to each other? I'm not proud of myself. About all this, or about chucking your own family out? I need to start being honest. I've been driving myself crazy pretending that I'm fine with things when I'm not. And? What are you doing later? Oh, you are unbelievable. This is my undo. Just hear what I've got to say. Come over, please. For both of us. <clears throat> I've seen a bit, all right? You know, this time last year, I was crying to a can of cider. I think I'd never find anyone as good as Ellie. Let me know when you do. That's what I love about you. You don't know the effect you have. Bob will be waiting for you. Come on, you can't win part of your own stag day. You're funny, you're kind. You've got cracking pins. <laughs> don't, you'll smudge my lip, eh? All girl needs distracting when there's serious work to do. Can't wait to marry you. Yeah, well, careful what you wish for. Now, don't you dare come home sober. Should have that as one of our vows. <laughs> I don't half love you, you know. Wow. I'd say you look a million dollars, but it doesn't do you justice. Yeah, well, don't get too excited. It's not for you. It's for my Hindu. Can we try to be nice to each other? For old time's sake. I think dinner's the least I owe you. Why? Is it poisoned? Listen, I know how I've been over the last few months. I've gone about it all the wrong way. I never wanted to hurt you. You did a good impression of it. I want you to take that back. 
It's all there. Every, every penny you gave me. Count it if you want. Why are you doing this? Because I'm tired, Chaz. I want it to stop. So please, take it. There's just one condition. It's the same wine we had in Italy. Remember? From that restaurant where you wanted to do a runner. Is that the condition? That I sit here and say what a great time we had. We have never had a problem with each other. It's always been other people that have got in the way. Right, do you mean your dad? Or do you mean all the other women that you bedded, even though we were so good together? Every time you got close, I panicked. Like I was losing control. Well, you're in control now, aren't you? You've practically got a gun to my head. That's because I felt if I got payback, then I would stop wanting you. But I never will. I don't want the money. I just want you. Cancel the wedding. Come with me. That's the condition. You know that we are so good together. You have got to be kidding me. I've spent my entire life lying to myself that I don't need anyone. But you were right. You are the best thing I ever had. Yeah. Yes, I was. And I thought I was worth nothing by the time you'd finished with me. And I'm sorry. I mean it. Because that's how I feel now. And I can't stand by and watch you, you do this to yourself. Do what? Marry someone who actually respects me, who makes me feel safe. It'll never be enough. You deserve way more than to marry a man that you don't love. Well, he loves me, so I guess I'm just going to have to accept what I've got. Is that how little you think of yourself? Throwing yourself at blokes who are way below your league. I am the only one who can sort this out for you. I don't know if I can even forgive you, let alone run away with you. Then I will spend the rest of my life making it up to you. Please, Chas. The way I've treated you, it, it's the biggest regret I'll ever have. Even if Dan wasn't in the picture, me and you would never be right. Well, he is. And I'm trying to save you from things getting much worse down the line when you've got a messy divorce on your hands. Oh, it's only because you can't have me. The minute you have, it'll be the same as ever. Only the good bits. Not the bad. It's me you come to when you need someone. <sighs> like you did when Jackson died. And like you did when you were in bits over Aaron. I wasn't in my right mind. No. You just stopped fighting it. Like I have. Sometimes we just need an excuse to go back to the person that we really want. It's just pride stopping us. No, there was no one else. I was desperate. When are we going to realise that me and you is never going away? Because you won't let it. No, because I can't stand back and watch you wreck your life. You're going through hell and you don't need to. Or well, maybe it's what I deserve after what I've done. No. Look at me, Chaz. Look at me. I'll keep you safe. If you come away with me, you can leave it all behind. Dan, Cameron, Debbie doesn't need to get hurt. You can keep your family and you never need worry again. It's the least you deserve. And it's what I owe you. Right. I've got to be quick. Debbie's clock watching me. It's Carl. We're not safe. He thinks we're going to start again. What, me and you? No, me and him. Like, nothing's happened. It's the only way he's going to drop it. Well, I'll show him another way. Is he home? <sighs> 
He says if I call off the wedding and leave with him, then no one's ever going to find out. <laughs> well, he knows that's never going to happen. It's better than the alternative. Honey, you're not thinking about this. I am finished either way. At least this way I keep hold of my family. No, no, no. No. Chaz, you do nothing. That is not an option anymore. Whatever we do, people are going to get hurt. It's just who and how badly. <laughs>